going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's me, Stevie B. We've got another mystery box. This one comes from one of my favorite eBayers. It's done me pretty good so far. And, you know, the last box was eh, but it was still way above value. But, um, of course, I'm talking about Toy Syndicate on eBay. I've had pretty good luck with him. Um, my boy Comic Head 84, he bought one of the boxes and it kind of turned into a stinker for him. But I've always had really good luck. So, give him another shot and see what we get. Ah, Alright, well, this came out pretty easy. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get on with the books. Oh, is he putting... Alright, we have got... Caliban, number five, from Avatar Comics, and Caliban, number six. There's number... Number five. Never heard of it. And number six. Looks interesting. It's a wraparound. But anyway, there's our first two. <clears throat> and we've got a variant edition of Marvel Superheroes Secret War. Wolverine and his secret shield. Oh, it's an action figure variant. Eh, not bad. I'm not a fan of the action figure covers, really, but some people are. All right, and here we get into them old school beaters that he is famous for. And this one is the Submariner. Number 15. It's a 12 center. But he's he sends him old ones. They're beat up, but they're old. You can see it's kind of chewed up pretty good. Let's see the spine there. And down there. Submariner number 12. I'm curious about that one. And we have X-Men number 15 from 96. Uh, don't know if that one has any significance. Like I said, I'm not an X-Men fan. But we'll find out, won't we? Hmm. Fantagraphics Books, Free Comic Book Day, Hip Hop Family Tree, 3 in 1. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of them on here. I see a Tupac on there. Anyway. Don't know if that's supposed to be modeled after some of the famous old school rappers from back in the Death Row Records days. See Ice Cube. Um, oh, and it's Humpty Dance Guy. What's his name? Humpty Hump. Can I dance? I don't see no Snoop or Dre. There's Biggie. Not Biggie Shack, Biggie Smalls. <laughs> All right, anyway, move on. All right, Daredevil, Fall from Grace, number 325. Kind of a cool cover. So far, only one really bad beater, but. And JSA, 
Number four, JSA Classified, number four, from the Infinity Crisis tie-in, featuring Power Girl. Bad. <clears throat> Archie's Girls, Betty and Veronica. This is a variant cover. Uh, but number 275 variant. He's always good to throw in one of those uh, kitty books. Rainbow Bright or My Little Pony or something. But, huh. DC Vertigo title. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, didn't say. Oh, it's number one. It's just the way it's. The way it's in there, it's kind of hard to read it. It's a little blank cover. All right, help me get some more old school here. Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, number 270. Oh, I got two of them. One of them is in much better shape than the other. Anyway, I don't know... Introducing the Macabre Menace of Blackheart. First appearance of Blackheart? Possibly. If it's a good one. I got two of them. One beater and this one's in pretty good shape. So, can't be mad at that. We'll see. We will see. Man. That's one of them Fantastic Four variant covers. I don't think I have this one. Is that a, is this an Alex Ross cover? Kind of looks like his work, a little bit. Could be wrong. I don't see a, no, I don't think it is. It looks like a painted cover. It looked kind of like Alex Ross, but that's kind of cool. What number is it? Fantastic Four, number one. Yeah, variant edition. Thanks to Mainstream, I've got a whole collection of Fantastic Four number one variants. They must have made 80 of them. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Somebody help me with this one. Panini, comment, co Panini Comics exclusive variant of Star Wars. That is a sick cover. And it's in great shape. That's a cool cover. I'll have to look that one up. I don't know which number it is. Let's pop the back and find out. Let's see if it tells me. Star Wars number one. It is it is only variant Panini Comics exclusive. Greg Tuccini. He got a mention in there with the with the Jawas, didn't he? Tuccini. <laughs> that one might be a pretty good one. And this one says it's a fifteen dollar valiant or fifteen dollar value. It is the Avengers number 144. The Hellcat cometh. Is that a first Hellcat appearance? Probably not. I never get these right I, when I try to guess. But condition wise, that one's not bad. Alrighty. Okay, we've got the uh, Spider Woman number 5. Looks like some looks like it might be a variant of some sort, but that's a cool cover. Not too shabby. The new Avengers. Oh that's a cool that's a venomized Wolverine cover. New Avengers number thirty five. That's pretty sick. That Wolverine venomized 
Wolverine is pretty cool. All right. He looks like we got a Moon Knight number seven. A blacked out cover there. Not bad. You can see the reflection of my come and go cup in the that's not bad. Um, Superman Convergence, number one of two. Now, I should know this, and I, I don't know if this is a variant cover. I think I have this, and I want to say it's, is it this one that's the first appearance of John, Jonathan Kent? And this is just a variant cover, but I think I have that. I think it's the first Jonathan Kent, just a different cover. If it is, I'm stoked. <clears throat> All right, we got a one-shot, Dread Underbelly. Hmm. Not too bad. I'm getting down to the wire here. Alright, this one's in pretty good shape. This is a supersized annual. Okay. Amazing Spider Man annual number 22. Guest starring Daredevil. Move over Spidey. Inner Spider. Speedball. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a first appearance as Speedball there or not, but so Amazing Spider Man Annual number 22. All right, last and not least, he's got red stickers, blue stickers. I don't know if those are supposed to signify anything, but this is a cool cover. I ain't gonna lie. Um, this is Wolverine o Old Man Logan, number 72. And this looks like Red Skull has put on the Captain America. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Like a zombie fight. I don't even tell if it's a zombie Captain America. It almost looks like Red Skull with Captain America's shit on him. Which I think that's what it is. That's pretty cool. So alright. Well, there you have it man. That is Toy Syndicate. That's what I got. You know how we do. We will run them through the eBay grinder. And see what he spits out. And I will also post. Actually I will. Um, also post uh, the graphic. With uh, what I paid. And what his claims are. And we will be back in a flash. All right, you little wine bags, back by popular demand, we're going to bring back Lil Flash. All right, we are back, and we put Toy Syndicate through the ringer again for like the fourth time. I swear to God, keep going back to this guy. There's a reason. Let's start it off. The Caliban books. Yeah, they're about they're just dollar bin books. Nothing special. Um Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number two action variant action figure variant. About five bucks. The Submariner. Number 15, old as it is, as cool as it is, but in this condition, it's only worth about three bucks. I saw somewhere it said it was the first appearance of Stingray, but I don't know if that's right or not. But, anyway. And, this X-Men, or, it's not X-Men, it's X-Man, number... I'm going to say 15 is the first cameo appearance of Onslaught. 
and it's worth about nine bucks. And the free comic book day, Hip Hop Family Tree. It's actually worth about nine bucks. <laughs> so it went up 900%. Uh, the Daredevil book, number 325. It's just a dollar book. JSA number, or JSA classified number, what did I say it was? Number four. It's about a five dollar book. And these are last sold prices. And Archie and or Betty and Veronica, two seventy five. This variant cover, last sold, ten bucks. People digging some Archie. Mad, Mad Max Fury Road. This cover, last sold, about five bucks. Daredevil, Man Without Fear. One copy is a kind of a beater, as you can see. It's got a lot of spine damage all the way up through it. You can see those. And what else? Actually, spine damage is about all it has. But it's got quite a bit of it, as you can see. So, I give it about a $5 value. But this side... On the other hand, nice clean spine, as you can see, no, no real conditions. I'm going to patent that word, conditions. See, look at there, no spine, kicks, really good condition. So I gave it about a $15 value, so between the two of them, you get about 20 bucks. That's a good, it's a good book. And oh, and it's also the first appearance of Black Blackheart. Yeah, first appearance of Blackheart. There are so many goddamn Fantastic Four number one variant covers <clears throat> that I couldn't find this one, but all. The variant covers are about three bucks. They're not worth anything, really. It's a cool cover, but I give it a three dollar value. All right, the Avengers number one forty four is the first appearance of Hellcat, I believe, and he got it pretty much right on the. Actually, he undervalued it. Last sold on this was uh, 20 bucks. So, that's a cool one. Took me forever and ever to find this. But when I did, all that research I did to try to find this cover, and it's $2. But, and that's Spider-Woman number five. Cool the cover as this is. New Avengers number 35. That cool venomized Wolverine. Only worth about four bucks. So cool cover. Moon Knight. Number seven. About six bucks. Sometimes I think he's challenging me when he sends me these books because. Some of these are very, very difficult to find. And I noticed that he didn't send me any uh, Rainbow Bride or My Little Ponies or anything like that. Which is a good thing because I really hate having to forward those to food. It gets expensive after a while. <laughs> and the uh, Convergence Superman number one. Uh, number two is the first appearance of Jonathan Kent. I don't know why I was thinking it was number one. But I got number one now. Didn't have it before. So, anyway, the lead in. And this Judge Dredd one shot book. This cover, it's a variant cover, and it's worth about 10 bucks. Uh, Amazing Spider Man Annual number 22. 
only worth about three bucks. First appearance of Speedball. Apparently nobody cared. <laughs> and this really cool Wolverine Old Man Logan. About 11 bucks. <clears throat> All right. Here's where I'm going to need your help, community. I could only find a European variant that was exactly this cover, only had a barcode right across here, and it was going for $40. I cannot find this book anywhere on eBay. It has this logo on it, so let's just... That's what it says. Panini Comics. Very exclusive variant. Um, man, I don't know nothing about it. Um, I don't want to give it a $40 value. Because the European one is is a 1 in 100 cover. So I don't know if this is a 1 in 100 cover. For the US version. Or what. But. Say it's worth 20 bucks. I'm gonna say it's worth 20 bucks because the other one's worth 40 and I'm trying to lowball it. So we'll call it 20 bucks. But if anybody knows anything about this book, drop me a uh, drop a comment in the comment section and, and edumacate your boy. But like I said, there's the there it is again. That's that. Here I'll help you out some more. Take it out and show the back. And this is the back. Star Wars number one. And there's the... Panini Comics. But it says up here at the top. there so if y'all can figure it out let me know in the comments because I'm curious it's a cool cover cool Yoda cover anyway assuming this is worth 20 bucks figured all of it up and I want to say I can't remember what I paid I'll, I'll put it right there. Boom. Okay. That's what I paid. <laughs> Plus shipping. And all that. Figured it up. About $150 in value. So. Home run. Man. I ain't mad at it. And only got really. Only got. Really only got one beater comic. So. Man. I'm, I'm proud of you man. For stepping up your condition game. Used to send some really bad, really bad beaters. Thank you for not hitting me with some strawberry shortcake, rainbow bride, my little pony, Barbie, <laughs> and all those other things, man. I appreciate it. That being said, Stevie B is tired. He worked all night, and I'm going to bed. So we will see you in the next unboxing video. Peace.